Tesla altered the design of the 4680 battery pack such that there are only two weld points per cell, reducing the number of welding to 1,660 points and resulting in a sizable cost savings. The 4680 battery pack only requires 830 cells. We're welcome everyone. In today's video, going to look Elon Musk reveals all new 4.0 batteries design, changes everything in 2024. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Elon Musk reveals new battery design with more range and less cost at Tesla Battery Day. This biscuit tin cell has the potential to transform the game, but we'll have to wait for it. Tesla's Battery Day provided us with a wealth of new information on the future of electric vehicles and energy storage, at least as Elon Musk and company view it. One of the most important aspects of the presentation focused on Tesla's efforts to create a new and very different type of battery cell. The new biscuit tin battery cell, like previous cells, is cylindrical in shape and uses lithium ion chemistry, but that's where the similarities end. The most major modification occurs inside the bigger cell canister, and it entails removing the tabs that serve as positive and negative connection points between the anode and cathode and the battery case. One of the most significant advantages of removing tabs is an increase in production speed due to the elimination of the start-slash-stop process that tabs require for installation. Tesla avoids using tabs by shingling the interior of the battery. This also removes many of the thermal barriers that a cell may encounter during DC rapid charging. Tesla's new cell design will boost the range of the company's vehicles by 16% due to a 5x increase in energy. That's significant, but it doesn't end there. Tesla is likewise obsessed with lowering the cost of its cells per kilowatt hour. The design improvement alone saves 14%, but there are more savings to be realized. The second area where Tesla is seeking to save money while also reducing its environmental effect is in the production of the component elements of battery cells. A significant component of this method is a modification in the manufacturing process for the cathode and anode foils that comprise the battery. Conventional methods use a lot of water or solvent, which not only takes a lot of energy and money to dry once it's on the foil, but also a lot of labas to recover post-process. Tesla's new method is the result of the company's acquisition of Maxwell Technologies and its dry deposition technology. Since the purchase, the process has been iterated numerous times, and Musk expects that it will go through several more iterations before reaching full-scale manufacturing. It is now at the pilot program stage for Tesla's new cells at its small footprint pilot facility. The chemistry of the batteries is likewise being altered. To be more specific, in order to integrate lithium, the cathode will be made of silicon rather than graphite. According to Tesla's engineers, the motive for this is partly economical. Silicon is incredibly inexpensive in comparison to graphite, and partly because the alteration might result in a 20% increase in vehicle range. Tesla envisions three alternative materials, each suited for a specific sort of use for the anode design. Iron will be used in lower cost, less range intensive vehicles, while nickel manganese will be used in higher end vehicles due to its higher energy density. Pure nickel anodes will be used in vehicles like as the Tesla Simi because their energy density offsets the cost drawbacks. An expensive, difficult, and dirty sulfating process will also be eliminated in both the cathode and anode production processes. The Big T plans to cut cell costs per kilowatt hour by at least 56%. It will also enable Tesla's future factories to be smaller and more efficient, hastening the company's march towards terawatt output. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.